this is this is throwaway game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. We, you could run this play, any one of these plays, and and, and go get started. But yeah. when you spend five days with us, you know who's really real, who's really not. If you want change, you have to change. Right. It's not just going to poof happen. The extra fifty just not going to drop in your pocket without doing anything. And the only difference between someone maybe watching this in a position where they not be happy about and people like us, right? And I'm not saying we're any different from you. The only difference is the information. Something like this is the best route, especially if you can do it from your home right. and look and listen from your home. It's the best route for you to get access to that information and get exposed to stuff you don't know. You can't do what you don't know. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you want to watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646-687-4152. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over 12 years. I've written 10 books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books. But I I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I wanna help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. All right, all right, let's go back to the video. All right, so welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. If you are watching the news, then you know that the U.S. dollar is about to collapse. They killed the, the uh, co-founder of Cash App because the Fed's about to create their own digital cur currency. Everybody's against the U.S. I'm talking BRICS, right? I'm talking uh, Brazil, Russia, uh, India, China, uh, South Africa, Saudi Arabia. If you are living in the United States, you have a reason to panic. But I today have a reason to tell you to chill out. Relax. We got you. Uh, you know, I said this before, but there are ways that you can secure your financial freedom regardless of what's happening in the news, regardless of how afraid people are telling you, the truth of the matter is that when things look chaotic in the economic world, that only means that there is a wealth transfer happening. And while that wealth transfer is happening, you need the right people in place to teach you how to take control of that wealth while it's happening. So we got, you know, some alumni in the building and a new guest. Yo, introduce yourselves so the people can know that you that you can help these people get 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 relaxed a little bit. Talk to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ramel New Worlds, young mogul, commercial real estate investor, credit coach, and I'm glad to be back, bro, 100% to give out the game and really show everybody that this is the time, wherever there's an obstacle, there's always going to be an opportunity. And right now is the biggest opportunity that we have to make millions of dollars throughout this transition. So let's get it. That's a fact. First, I want to say, man, I appreciate you. Your abundant energy make yeah. me feel like, yeah. man, yeah. I got to turn go. up on yeah. it. But Derek Boone, pretty much everybody call me Boone, real estate investor. Philadelphia, and I really just want to show people that you can utilize other people's money to get in. Honestly, this is the best time to get in real estate. The market is a little funny right now, but that's perfect for investors because a lot of my mentees are now buying properties half price because they're taking advantage of the market, the things that you're saying, but don't be afraid of it. This is time for you to jump into, especially yeah. utilizing other people's money. Yep, so it's Kenny Smith. Uh, I'm very heavy in this credit space. I basically, I basically like the angle of le building a legacy of borrowed money. Mm -hmm. So that's how I built my legacy. I built my seven-figure empire off a whole infrastructure of borrowed money. Yeah. So I want to teach people how to leverage that to be able to, you know, fund their legacy, fund yeah. their freedom. And 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 I and I'm you know you know welcome again and I and I'm glad that that uh, you guys are on. And one of the reasons why I thought it was important to bring you guys on because um, you know I get DMs all the time um, about the U.S. dollar, about like 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 you know, digital currency, should, it, should people be moving their money into crypto and all these different things? Um, and one of the things that, that I know as a financial expert um, is that, you know, at the end of the day, real assets are real assets, right? 
Um, and, and, and what I mean by that is, like, let's, let, let's use China for an example, right? Um, I want to say in New York City is about 140,000 acres of land. Well, China owns 300,000 acres of land in the United States, though. Man. Right? Mm -hmm. And so while people are like, oh, the U.S. dollar is going to collapse and all of these different things, there's so much value in the, in the land, right? Like in the property, in um, just being here on U.S. soil that even our enemies, right? Even our so-called enemies, let me just say that, mm -hmm. even our so-called enemies like, nah, we need, to, we need to double up. Like we need to start buying land because guess what? God ain't making no more land. Right. And, and so how do, you know, those who don't have money, you know, how they tap into this land, but not necessarily have to use money that they don't have. So this is how I look at it. I think it's easier for you to be able to get approved for a hundred thousand. You save your money or working a job up to a hundred thousand dollars. So if we can learn the metrics of how to get approved for it or use someone else's money for it, then it'll be an easier route to be able to get get access to capital to be able to get into something like that. So, so, so if I hear you correctly, you're, you're saying that right now somebody who has a job mm -hmm. is, the, is in the best position to get access to $100,000, right? And so that they should leverage their job while they have it right now in order to get access to those funds. If they have a job or if not, either way. Okay. Uh, you can leverage the credit game or the business credit game to fast track that process as well. Uh, if you can use that to your leverage 100%, use yeah. it. But I just know that I know a lot of people can't save their way to 50k mm. 75k 100 thousand yeah. dollars to be able to leverage this to get into something like buying land yeah. buying real estate whatever the case may be so if you can learn this game to use it to your advantage you will be in a better position yeah yeah now talk to me a little bit about right like um you know i love your unique approach right specifically for times like this That's a fact. where um you know you focus on self-storage units yeah a lot of, i mean no disrespect i'm not making fun of it but a lot of people gonna lose their jobs a lot of people gonna have to foreclose a lot of people gonna have to downsize mm -hmm. and so a lot of people gonna have to take advantage of those self storage mm -hmm. units yeah. talk a little bit about that strategy um that's why i'm so excited to even be here and talk about it because this is the time where if you in the real estate business you want to jump into self storage right yeah. a lot of people losing their jobs so what that means when you lose your job you can't afford your rent mm. so now you may have to downsize from that bigger house that you once lived in or you may need to get with a roommate we need to come together as a group and figure out how can we maximize our resources so when we downsize where do we put our belongings right yeah. we put we put them in a storage unit yeah. and as these things start to happen now you start to increase the rent so in my storage units i'm increasing the rents 10 15 20 percent mm. every 30 days wow. because the demand is there yeah. so i want to teach y'all how to get but into the same storage. he got that money yeah, yeah. yeah. It's for real. And it's, it's life changing information, but yeah. I want to give some some exact steps if that's yeah. cool. I want to yeah, give 100%. some exact steps on how you watching this right now can get into the self storage game, leveraging zero percent interest business credit cards, leveraging SBA loans, right? So one of the ways that we can get into it is the SBA seven A loan. Set, uh, with the SBA seven A loan, they finance you up to ninety percent. The reason why they finance you up to 90% because self-storage has the lowest loan default ratio. Mm. So if you think about any other industry, self-storage has the lowest loan default ratio. So they're still lending during this time. You go to any other bank right now, you're trying to buy multi-family, single families. It's tougher to get financing because the banks, we see what's happening. Mm. It's, a, it's a collapse and people are pulling their money out. Yeah. But if you go to SBA 7A route, you put 10% down. Mm. And then you can go get that 10% down from a 0% interest business credit card, right? Mm. Let's talk about Key Bank, for example. Mm. If you have an LLC that's two years old, you could actually go get up to $50,000 in a business line of credit, mm. right? And when they pull your credit, they also can give you a business credit card mm. and a personal credit card, mm. one inquiry. So you get $100,000, just one bank, that $100,000 is a down payment on your self-storage for a million dollars. Wow. So now you in the game and you on the other side of it, right? You want to build wealth during this recession, during wow. this economic downturn. And, and, and I want to take it one step further. I'm going to pass it, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so hyped yeah. up. I'm so hyped yeah, because... Like Let him go. <laughs> The reason why I love self storage, not only is it a recession proof business, yeah. during an economic downturn, everybody's gonna need self storage, yeah. but with one acquisition, I could create multiple streams of income. Mm. So when I buy one facility, I put a vending machine on the facility as well. So now we got passive income. Mm. Then I partner with U-Haul and now we have a transportation business and we're getting commissions from U-Haul. Mm. And then I partner with a moving company because 
tenants, when they run out of unit, they need to move in and out. Mm -hmm. We partner with a moving company, now we're getting multiple streams. So that's just mm. a few things that we do to maximize the revenue, mm. go pay off the credit cards, the value of the facility went up, I'm going to cash out, refi, wow. and go do it again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Listen, hold on. So if you look, look, because I know sometimes y'all doing multiple things while y'all yeah. watching this. I need y'all to slow down. Yeah. Please rewind this, bad boys behind this. Like, I need you to really understand what he just said, right? Yo, if you do an SBA loan, the SBA is funding up to 90%, which means that you would only need a 10% in order to get a self-storage unit, right? Mm -hmm. So now... You go to SBA, they'll fund you 90%. You go and, and, and you know, he gave Key Bank as a, you know, as an example. Yeah. You get a $100,000 loan from Key Bank. Yo, $50,000 credit card, $50,000 loan. There's ways, and he'll you know, teach you how to liquidate those credit cards. You can liquidate the loan. You get the loan. You can liquidate the credit card. Now that $100,000 ain't even $100,000 that you saved. It's $100,000 that you got. Right, because you had an LLC that that's at least two years old, mm -hmm. and then now that hundred thousand, you got a million dollar property that's going to mm -hmm. increase in value, but it's also going to cash flow because because mm -hmm. cash is king. Facts. Cash is king, right? You have this asset, and like like in New York, we say dead ass, right? Mm -hmm. You get this dead <laughs> asset, yeah, right? Yeah. That's doing nothing, mm -hmm. right? And, and you know, eventually you could pull from that asset, mm -hmm. but if it's cash. Flowing, that is the pop. Oh man, I don't want Talking them to miss that. Crazy on them. I don't mm. want them to miss that. And then boom. So so he, so here's the deal, right? So now when we think about real estate, um, around these times, like you said, right? Interest rates are high. Banks are pulling back a little bit, but people still need a place to live. Yeah. Right. And so regardless of it, may cost a little more to acquire a property. But at the same time, when you acquire that property, because people now are downsizing or whatever the case may be, they're going to need a place to live. So talk a little bit about that. So I want to touch on, so this, both my brothers right here, but me and him always going back and forth. So yeah. Now I got to cook them real quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a couple different things I want to touch on, right? You guys, you talked about land. Yeah. So what a lot of people don't understand is in real estate, we believe in flipping up. Mm, so we good. take one asset, we do what we need to do. We take the money out of that and we get into a bigger one. So, for example, you talk about land. A lot of people don't know what to do with land because in order to buy land, what they think, you need to be some type of developer. I need to know how to dig and build big, big buildings. Well, that's not really the case. What we go ahead and do is we leverage land and we flip up with the land. So, for example, I got a bunch of lots. Let me give you one, for example. I bought this lot for 15000 I bought it for $12,000, actually. Mm -hmm. But the lot was actually worth 90 grand. Mm. But what happens is a lot of homeowners, what you guys do, you guys want to go to this website called PropStream, right? So PropStream, you can literally search for, click the button, vacant land, type in a zip code, and you can find vacant land. But then the thing you want to do is look at the zoning button. It's going to say what kind of zone is for. So in Philadelphia, you something called something called RM1, which is residential multifamily. So when you have multifamily lots, they're worth more than regular lots. Mm. So now if I go ahead and call him, I'm like, yo, listen, I see you got a lot right here. You know, you want to get rid of Yeah, that piece of grass. Just give me 5000 for it. Don't even dig. It's worth 100 mm. Don't even dig. It's worth 150 because you can build a 10-unit apartment bid on there. Mm. So now you utilize 0% interest credit card. 10, how easy to get 10000 Super easy. So you can go to this web, one website, FMBO, and they'll go ahead and get you a credit card. They pull from experience. You can get ten, fifteen thousand dollars off rip right off mm -hmm. of them without having to open up a bank account, without needing any of that stuff. Also, you go to Chase, which I know you go deeper in that. You can get ten thousand dollars, no bank account needed, right online, or you can go to this website called Alliance Credit Union. You, you can get ten, fifteen thousand right there. So now, but I always tell people. Getting the 200, 300, 400,000 dollars in funding is great. Do that, mm. but don't forget about these little small little plays. Mm. Can you take that by the land? Then we can go and resell the land to a developer for 90. Mm. So now we just flipped the 10,000 dollars credit card mm. and made 80 off of it. Mm. Now we can take the 80 and go right into the single family deals. Mm. Or, which I like to do is leverage other people's money on a whole nother type of time. Yeah. We'll utilize something called hard money lenders. Hard money lenders, they'll go ahead and give you 80 to 90% of the purchase price, mm -hmm. and you gotta come with the 10%. Now is the time to go into a lot of these smaller deals mm. where homeowners are sitting on houses, mm. don't need a whole bunch of work. So, mm. for example, my, one of my mentees, somebody was selling his house for 80000 He got it down to 58000 mm. because the house was sitting on the market for 60, 90 days. Mm. So what I always tell people to do right now while interest rates are higher. So when interest rates are high, mm. people don't really – it's harder to sell a house because not, not a lot of people aren't buying mm. houses on the market longer. What happens? 
price drops. Mm -hmm. So now what I tell everybody to do is just start shooting your offers low ball, low mm -hmm. ball, low ball, low ball. And what happens, you'll at least get some of it. Let's mm -hmm. think about this. You shoot 10 offers a day all low ball, you'll at least get one. Right. At least get one. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Ash Cash, the financial motivator. If you're looking to spend five days with Ash Cash, Marvin Mitchell, Storm Leroy, and let us teach you how to make, manage, and multiply your money, then you need to join us for our five-day challenge. We have helped thousands of people learn how to get to the next level, exclusively spending time with us, teaching you how to become your own bank, teaching you how to create the systems so that you can have a legacy for your children's children, and also how to create 15 streams of income from digital currency. So listen, I need you to hit the link below, up top, to the left, to the right, but I need you to join us, the five-day challenge. We have our general admission, we have VIP, and we even have a platinum where you can spend time ask us questions so meet us there we'll see you in our five-day challenge and teach you to how to get on your path to prosperity y'all let's go right so that's what happened with a lot of my mentees right now but the thing about it is if you're getting a house for fifty eight thousand dollars right what is ten percent of that $5,800. Exactly. Yeah. But we just said a 10%, a 10000 15000 credit card, you can get the night. Like that, right. You don't got it. LLC can be made today. Right. I don't need to own no time on it. All this stuff can happen today. But now you go ahead and buy that property. You might only, for example, for him, he just need to go ahead and do new floors, new paint, and change all the baseboard heaters. And now it's worth one thirty when it's done. Mm. Take that money, then flip up, get right into the self storage. Right. So you take the small place you can make right now, the little 10, 15,000, flip it up, flip it up, and just keep working your way up. Mm -hmm. Then you go right into the self storage. So it's all stepping stones, but that don't mean you need to wait until you get to step 10. You can start, I'm making 20, making 20 each step, mm -hmm. then 40, and then just keep doubling up, doubling up, doubling up. And that's what I tell everybody to do because a lot of times people may not be able to go ahead and get. $200,000 in funding right out of the gate. People may not be able to go ahead and buy a 100 unit apartment building right out of the gate. Yeah. That don't mean you sit and wait for that. Yeah, you can start out small. Look, listen, and that's another little gem I want everybody to do. When you go to prop stream, you can literally type in years of ownership. Mm. So I'll go ahead and type in someone has 10 years or more ownership. That means they own a house for at least 10 years or own that lot for 10 years. Wow. At that point, they might have got that lot for a dollar, $10. That's the thing about elderly people, right? Think about early people, everybody owns more than one spot. Yes. Where they got it, when they got it, numbers were super cheap. So you offer them, if they got it for $1,000, $500, $200, people's picking up lots back in the day, you offer them 10 grand, mm. that's a flip. Yes. That's a crazy flip. Yes. Not to mention, they probably owe back taxes on anyway. They might owe trash fees and stuff like that. So to them, you got rid of their problems and gave them money. So now you take that, like I said, buy off the credit card, flip up. Mm. And then flip up again, and then flip up again. That's really how these big developers are doing it. They didn't, uh, besides Donald Trump, nobody's come out of the gate with 10 million right out of the gate. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. the developers I know, they start out small and they flip up, flip up, flip up. Next thing you know, like we got, we got seven, just under eight million dollars worth of real estate right now. Mm -hmm. Start off a two bedroom house, mm -hmm. utilizing other people's money and just flip up, flip up, flip up, flip up, and then we take it from there. Yo, mm -hmm. listen, y'all, insiders, I know, look, I know y'all in the comments I going crazy it. right now, and that's why I love bringing y'all on. Um, because you know, you know, like I pride myself in making sure that everybody I bring on there's actionable items, right? Mm -hmm. And every time y'all come on, y'all get plays that we have to act on immediately, and so there's no excuse. Anybody who's watching this right now, y'all got no excuse whatsoever. Y'all can run the play. Now we gotta get to the money. All right, we it's get all, to the back. We got look. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's say Alliance Credit Union, FNBO mm -hmm. Credit. You you go to those banks, all right? Before he about to drop some crazy right. songs. Look, 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 look. No <laughs> pressure though. No pressure. Say no competition, B. Nah. But Mel just he went crazy, <laughs> yeah. right? He just gave us a play, <laughs> yeah. right? He went. Cra I'm talking about he went crazy. Yeah. Then boom, I was like, I was, I was nervous though. I said, nah, I ain't know it. I said, how you gonna, how you gonna give a better play than that? The lot play is crazy because it, look, anybody can do it. It's over. I don't even want to repeat it. But my man said, because I know about zoning. Yo, that zoning piece is a game changer. So my man says, yo, find some, find a lot, but not just any lot. Find the zoning of that lot, and it's a multi-family zoning, and you can flip. So I said, so, so he, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No pressure, <laughs> pressure bust diamonds or make pipes. I got you know, more no, faith in Bust pipes or make diamonds. <laughs> so good. What we doing? 
all right, first I got to talk to my people who got personal debt, so they be scared, right? Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Mm. Uh, so I'll give you a play where we can be able to get money on the business side first to be able to pay your personal debt off, so then we can go get the bat. Mm -hmm. So one way I get 10000 on my business side is going to Sam's Club. A lot of people don't know. Sam's yeah. Club have a business MasterCard that you can get in your business name, EIN only, mm -hmm. that we can leverage that to liquidate that credit card to pay off our personal debt. Now, once your personal debt is paid off, we in position now. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get in position, now we want to do what we call 0% interest credit card stacking and lines of credit stacking. So I like to go and go to different amounts of banks, credit unions for the most part, because they give out high limits. Uh, we like to build a relationship first. So we probably put in $25, $25 in the check-ins, $25 in the savings on the business side. And if you want to go further, we're doing $25 in the personal side on the check-ins and the savings. So now we're building some type of relationship with the bank first before we go get the bag. This will put you in a better position. So then we want to go with stacking. So people be like, well, I want to go with a $200,000 loan. Or, you know, uh, that route is not is a little harder. Mm -hmm. We can go easy and we can break it down. Mm -hmm. So if I if I go to one bank, right, which we'll probably go to uh, Navy Federal. This is my best one. Everybody love it. Everybody, you get 20K out the gate. You, read the you build a relationship with the bank, they give you 20K. So if we stacking it, we got this mindset of stacking it, we can stack up to like $100,000. Mm -hmm. So if I go to Chase, which have a 0% interest credit card, he said FNBO. Uh, I got NASA. This is my favorite one. NASA Federal Credit Union. Mm -hmm. They'll give you a pre-approval from ten to twenty-five thousand dollars in two minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you meet the requirements, it ain't super hard. The lending criteria is a little low, maybe six twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, then we go, you know, to multiple different banks. Uh, we don't even have to. We don't even have to be super like fabricated on which one. We can really go to anyone you're in position. But I, I say, um, what my other uh, credit union I like to go to uh, is. Our uh, Philly, uh, Pennsylvania Federal Credit Union as well. Mm -hmm. So we can get a foreign entity to be able to get funding mm -hmm. in a different state. Mm -hmm. So this is how you maximize your funding, right? We get we file what's called a foreign entity in a different state. So if I'm in Atlanta right now, mm -hmm. if I go to Philly, if I go to Texas, if I go to Chicago, and I want to get funding, then I can 5x the amount of money that I can get by filing a foreign entity and being able to get funded in different states now. Mm. So now we not even going, that's on a 500K tip Ooh. or a, maybe $750,000 tip. But, you know, what we do is we go to banks, we get a small amount, maybe ten dollars to $25,000. That's one. We go to another bank. We go to another bank. We go to another bank. So some people may be scared about increase. All right. So, yo, I get it. Keep going. I told you. I told you. I told you. That actually was going to be my question. Yeah. Yeah. But you're dad, keep yeah. going. Keep I told going. you he the truth. Some some people might be scared of those. Oh man, the hard inquiry thing. Well, we gotta play for that too. Uh so when we do these lines of credit stacking and these business credit cards stacking, they are going to pull your personal credit to give you an inquiry. But being as though if you have an account on your personal side, right? That's attached to an inquiry. We don't want to remove those. Mm -hmm. We want to keep it safe, be cool, because we don't want to mess up that account. Mm -hmm. But being as though when we apply for these business credit cards, when we get the inquiry, there the business credit card reports on the business side, mm -hmm. so it's not reporting on the personal side. So now that inquiry is not attached to anything, mm -hmm. and it's eligible to be removed. Mm -hmm. So we run into play, and we might go to five banks, right? Mm -hmm. And we might get 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 50,000. Mm -hmm. We got five inquiries, and we strategically do it. So we strategically go to a bank that pulls Equifax, a bank that pulls TransUnion now, a bank that pulls Experian now. So now we're going to get three different approvals with one inquiry in each bureau. Mm, so now we now we're not scaring the bank. Mm. You know, we're, we're, we're pressing ourselves, we're pacing ourselves mm. to be able to get the bag, but it's in a quick amount of time mm. and with less inquiries. Mm. But even if we do get the inquiries, they're eligible to get removed because there's no account that's attached to the mm. personal side. Because you apply to the personal side, but you got a business credit card. Exactly. E you know so game, so then if you get 50k that's 50k we, right. we can go up to however much we really want you right. know but reachable we can easily touch 100k by going to maybe 10 different banks with different credit bureaus though mm. we do not want to go and get these credit cards within one bureau because then you will start getting declined mm. if you if, if you don't understand mm. the metrics of which bank pull which bureau mm. right then you might go to all the banks that pull transunion and mm. you'll get declined you'll be like man i thought he said i can get 100k right. well it's a strategic it's a strategic it's a strategic to it, right. which we go to different Ooh. credit bureaus to get different approvals. And, and, and I love that, right? Because like, like what's mm. it? Uh, like Amex mm -hmm. and, and Chase pull from the same bureau. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so if you apply for Amex and a Chase, they gonna know. But if you if you go Amex and then you go, you know, Key Bank, mm -hmm. who pull from different bureaus, yeah. listen, y'all. Talk about your five actually, challenge. Actually, you know, actually, look, yeah, you yeah. just said Amex, right? Yeah. I got another one for you. Yeah, All right, I got, so I got a, I want to double up on that. I, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. want to I I tell them how they can get four to six American Express cards with one pool. 
Uh, I got gotcha. you. So, you gonna get that for free, Ken? Wait, wait. No, no, give, give me now, back. I you mean, gotta I apologize. <laughs> you gotta apologize first. I told you the truth. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, told, I, told, I, told, I told you the no, truth. You went crazy. You went crazy. He went crazy. We, 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 we gonna bring it back. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. We gonna bring it back. So you said Amex, right? Yeah. I tell you, I'll get four or six of them. Like this is what I did. Yeah. I like to open up different internet browsers, right? Mm. So American Express, <laughs> they, they gonna allow you to get four to six credit cards within their system with one pool. So being as though they just pulled your credit report, right? And it right. looks good and you got one approval. Right. They will allow you up to four to six of their products with that one pool since they just got your credit report. So I like to apply for at least four to six American Express cards in a row and they only gonna look at my credit report one time. So me specifically, I got approved for $25,000 each one up to one of them, no, no preset limit. Right. But you know, other ones were twenty five thousand dollar limit. So now I might get a hundred k with one lender with one. Income. All same LLC or different LLC. All same LLC. But if you got different LLCs, we could do it with different LLCs too. So now we might make up, break up ten or fifteen American Express hmm. cards with three different LLCs. Word. Cause I, cause I, I got, I got two Amexes on one LLC. I got four LLCs. Mm -hmm. So, I, so I can literally open up. Yeah, we gonna have to do that. Yeah, we gonna have to do that. Yeah. Yo, the crazy part about it, you just said five day challenge. So yeah. we do, we have a five day challenge coming up where we gonna really break down everything he just said, add some more sauce on top of it, but then show you how to take that money and then buy residential real estate, commercial real estate, and a couple other businesses. We gonna creep in. It. It's more mm -hmm. surprise for you guys. But also on a five day challenge, you just said something about Amex. You asked about mm -hmm. Amex. He gave you guys the free play. You guys can work on the night. But when you guys tap into the five day challenge. What does that say? Don't say the name. Just yeah. what it say in the middle. Amex rep, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just give out the Amex rep. Y'all just make a mm. phone call, no inquiry, and you get a signing bonus. Mm. That's my exact rep at the Wait, thing. Oh. You get three cards per LLC. Right. Wow. Direct this phone call. Just wow. say my name. Boop, 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 boop. Relationships, resources. Wow. Man. No presets. <laughs> Yo, hold on, y'all. So look, this, so y'all know this. Y'all watch the show. Y'all know. Um, I'm a big fan of five day challenges. Um, you know, I've been in this, you know, in this game for a very, very long time. Uh, my name means everything. That's why nobody play with me too, right? They play with other people. Don't play with me, right? Mm -hmm. My fault. I just blacked out for a second. But, <laughs> but I've been in the game for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And the reason for it though is, is like I move in a certain way, right? I'm not just bringing anybody up. And I'm not just giving you somebody who's like, yo, spend an hour with me. Like, let's just do this, you, you know, this webinar real quick and then give me a whole bunch of money. Number one, my guys are giving you value already. So if you spend no money whatsoever, if you like, yo, thank you so much. You already gave me the game. You could literally become a millionaire, mm -hmm. right? You could have a million dollar asset that you own. By, by what you just heard today, right now, right? But, but if you take it a step further, if you're like, yo, these dudes, they didn't have to, but they gave me the game. Mm -hmm. But imagine what they could give you in five days. Mm -hmm. And so now you have an opportunity to spend five days with them where they could give you more plays in this economy. And so you could keep doing what you're doing right now and be afraid and not know what's going to happen and just say, you know what, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a just watch TV, kick my feet up. Or you can spend five days with my guys where they're going to teach you the game on how. Come on, give, me, give, us, yeah. give us some more so, games. So, so like, I'm, like, I'm greedy, man. And this is, this is throwaway game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. We, You can run this play, any one of these plays, and, and, and go get started. But yeah. when you spend five days with us, you know who's really real, who's really not. 100%. You spend, some, you spend mm -hmm. an hour, like, somebody could fake that. 100%. But five straight days, nah, you can't giving you game every nah. single night, yeah. you get to ask questions. Is is At that point, you know they the real deal. 100%. Right? So just to add to that, what we like to do with everybody that's happening with us is about relationships. right? Mm -hmm. You got you, you got to have relationships with your lenders. Mm -hmm. You have to have relationships with your family, relationships with your business partners, right? So one of the relationships that I have, SBA Connect, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So directly, I give you the SBA plug. Mm -hmm. You want to go get the 7 You want to go get pre-approved? Mm -hmm. SBA plug. Mm -hmm. All right. We got a relationship with a business bank manager at Bank of America. Mm. So this is how we connect the dots, right? Mm. So I talked about multiple streams of, of income. Yeah, I, lo I love when you <laughs> blow up, man. Yeah, yeah, I like, love bro. when you give me the game I'm and you to start the glow, B. So I talked about multiple streams when you, you buy yourself storage facility, yeah. right? Most people probably on here and they probably do different businesses. I'm going to use Toro, for example. Mm -hmm. So Toro, car into business. 
Well, we send you to our Bank of America Connect, and they go get you approved for four cars, four auto loans in your business name, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's no money out of your pocket, four auto loans. You could actually now take those auto loans and go get cargo vans mm. and now put them on your self-storage facility and now you're running your transportation business. You don't even got a partner with you, mm. ho. You cut them out. I'm mm. the big dog now because mm. I done went to my connect over here. They gave me the cargo vans, no money out of my pocket, mm. and I'm going to go run it. Mm. Or if I want to take it a step further, I want to go get some cars that I could rent out, economy cars, luxury cars, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Well, we teach you how to automate your facility where you can run your car into business out of your facility. Mm. So when you download the Toro app and you rent your vehicle and you go and you you purchase uh, you rent your vehicle out, you get the keypad code, go to the facility, punch the code in at the facility, go right to the unit, the lockbox is in there, the car keys, now you go and pull off the lot with Boom. your with your vehicle. Mm. And this is all automated. We got a call center that watch the cameras and manage every single thing. You do the self checkout for your vehicle, but literally you gotta have relationships to do this. Because wow. if you don't gotta connect here at the yeah. SBA, yeah. connect at BOA, or even a relationship with us, yeah. you don't understand how to properly run these plays. And I'm saying it because I know a lot of us are scared during this time. Yeah, right? yeah, it's what like, I'm saying. It is yeah. a tough time right 100%, 100%. now. 100%. 100%. Inflation is crazy. Interest yep. rates, Facts. eggs is like $10. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, I, I went out to eat last night. It was $300. Just me and my wife. I'm right. Like, this Facts. is crazy, Facts. right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, I could go spend that money and not right. even blink. You know why? Because I got passive income coming in. I'm Absolutely. waking up to money in my sleep. We call Absolutely. it mailbox money. So Absolutely. this is why they need to tap in with us. You know, spend this five days. And, and, where, and where, can, where can they go? What's the, yeah. what's the website? So they can go in uh, to fundinthevault.com. And, and we'll have the link in the description yeah, fund as well. fundinthevault.com. But you know what? I really love the Friday challenge. So I believe, to be honest with you guys, right, if you don't have someone that you can literally spar with, yeah, you need to change your environment. I agree. I, I agree. love... You know, doing things with these guys because they're my sparring partners. Now we can go back and forth. Like we literally going back and forth. Yeah. Who giving the most games? <laughs> <out of there? laughs> you know, nothing negative, saying. just all fun. Cause yeah. we. we hey, yo, hey, yo, look! I need y'all to put other. put in the chat. Yo, who get who gave the best game so far, <laughs> B? <laughs> Let's put that in the chat. I want to see what y'all think. Yo, yo was it Rommel? Was it Bone or was it Smitty? Man, like put it in the chat. But yeah, not for sure. But but I got something else for him too. But. Look, I, he I, said, look, y'all, it's going to yeah, be me. We <laughs> yeah, we ain't doing that. Yeah, all right, know. Right. But I, I love, you know, the five-day challenge. What he said, you can't fake that. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I talk to a lot of these guys on the side going to these conferences. They like, yo, bro, I ain't even write that book. Or I ain't yeah. even do that again. Yeah. I ain't even do that. Like, Facts. you can't. So you only got but this much shelf life. Facts, 100%. You can't fake five days straight Facts. game. That's and then fact. on a five-day challenge, right, what we do is we do an hour before the straight Q&A. Mm. We in a hot seat. Ask whatever questions. Mm. Uh, answers, answers, mm. answers, yeah. answers. You can't fake that type yeah. of stuff. Yeah. So I love doing these things because it allows me to showcase, you know, why you guys trust me, why you guys trust us. Mm. Yeah. But then also we're giving out game yeah. too, yeah. especially because the challenge is the five days. Right. Like I don't know. Comment below. Like how much y'all think this one, this one um, podcast is worth. Right. We doing five days for two hundred ninety seven dollars. Yeah. Like literally five days. Yeah. But I just want to add something else too because he talked about automating, right? So. So my guy Smitty just gave you guys a place to get, you know, 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, but overall $100,000, right? Then I just told you guys. So for me, for the average person, when they buy real estate, who the first person they call? A real estate agent. Yeah. I bought one property in my life through a real estate agent. Mm. All our stuff is off market, 100% off market. Mm. And we utilize, we do that by something called cold calling mm. and mass texting, right? I don't cold call at all. Mm. So let me give you guys a play, right? You can go to this website. It's called online. I really shouldn't even. <laughs> So we go to this website called onlinejobs.ph. That's where you get all your virtual assistants from. Mm. Virtual assistants, you could pay them between three to five dollars an hour. Mm. So you literally might pay one fifty to two hundred for a week, and they work eight hours a day, mm. every single day. Mm. So then what we do is we go to this website and we buy them a phone number. Mm. So now we give them access to a phone number, right? And then now we give them the list of properties or the list of lots that we found. Mm. Your job is to call them all day long. Mm. When they call and then I, when we in a five day challenge, I give people the script so they know what to say on the mm -hmm. phone. And now you're literally sitting back and just watching the lots come in, all the wow. leads come in. You're not calling anybody, you're not doing anything. Yeah. But now on top of that, right, you already got the 50,000, 100,000 dollars he gave you. Mm -hmm. You can now, we utilize this, damn. We utilize this website called Remitly. You can yeah. connect your credit card to Remitly, and Remitly is how you pay your virtual assistants. Mm. So now all this is automated <laughs> off of you, and you're paying for everything off the credit card. Wow. So now you went to PropStream. If you go to EndlessProps.com, you'll get a seven-day free trial. So and just type in Endless 
Props, P-R-O-P-S dot com. You get a seven day free trial. So now you can work on this tonight for free. Mm. You go download your list tonight for free. Mm. You go to onlinejobs.ph and you go ahead and get a virtual assistant tonight. Mm -hmm. Pay it for off the credit card, mm -hmm. connect it to Remitly. Now they got their list of properties. Now they can go and call and text message them. They send you, hey boss, we got another lead today. Mm -hmm. Hey boss, we got another lead today. Mm -hmm. Hey boss, we just locked up another contract today. Mm -hmm. Then you go ahead and take that and you can either go ahead and buy it with the credit card mm -hmm. or you can go ahead and sell it off to someone like me and just add an extra five or 10 thousand dollars on top mm. so you're either gonna make 10 grand or you're gonna buy for 10. Mm -hmm. either way you how you want to do it but then wow. all of this is 100 percent automated but more importantly all this is utilizing someone else's money wow so wow. now you just sit back and watch everything come in wow. and then on a five-day challenge we're going to show you more so in detail how to exactly set the whole thing up in detail but yeah. if you just i just want to run it tonight run it but yeah. that's even more and uh, you know and, I, and I, I said this last year and i'm and this is my word i said i needed to start another segment of this show called Behind the Vault, and I'm gonna run every play that my guests have I'm said. Saying, mm -hmm. That's smart, I like that, I and, that's cool. And I, and I, like, cause I know the power of the time right now, I want a self storage, mm -hmm. I don't have a self storage. Mm -hmm. I got properties, mm -hmm. I got, I don't have a self storage, mm -hmm. I'm running your play, and you're gonna be the first episode <laughs> Of behind the vault, there we go. you know what I'm saying? Oh. Where where yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna walk y'all through. I'm gonna say, yo, this is what Mel told me to do. Mm -hmm. I did I did the, the these are the steps I took, and this is my results, and this is the like I'm a like real time mm -hmm. report on mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. like this is powerful, right? And I know it works. Mm -hmm. I know it works. You know what I'm saying? Like I've I've watched people do these things. Um, and I'm like, all right, now, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, like, like, cause I can see it, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 to true, 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 you know, true, true story. And I told, I talked to y'all about this behind the scenes. Was that for me? Um, you know, I'm starting a nonprofit organization that's that's focusing on the formerly incarcerated men and women. And a lot of formerly incarcerated men and women have to rely on entrepreneurship yeah. because when they try to get a job. That that you know, them letters behind their name, mm -hmm. not not MBA, them letters, they you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of discrimination that happens. As a matter of fact, I was talking to uh, you know, one of my brothers uh, salute to my brother Zaki, um, and he was saying how he had a job um for four years, mm -hmm. and then after four years, it's just something came up and they found out that he had a a, a past. I'm talking about past, like he mm -hmm. he'd been home 19 years. But they heard he had a past criminal record, and they and they got rid of him. I, like you, I worked for you four years. I ain't never. I'm a, a model employee, mm. and you found that I had a past. So for me, I'm like, yo, I want to do this work with formerly incarcerated men and women, and I feel like, like what y'all, like like what y'all, the game that y'all given would easily work for you know for our brothers and sisters who come home who. Mm you know, need access to capital, you know what I'm saying? And to be able to run these plays. And then I think that to take it that level further, mm. I'll run the play. And then you think about this because even from a perspective of like now, if I can run these different plays, have these different opportunities, right? So that's why I like self-storage mm. too. Cause you know what? I'll buy a whole bunch of self-storage facilities and now I can hire my brothers and sisters Ooh. to kind of help one those. So I, I love, I love, oh, heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love, I love, I, wanna, I love it. I love I want to add on what you said. I love, you know, what we do, real estate funding, um, all this type of stuff we do because it's non-biased. Right. You don't need a college degree. Yeah. You don't yeah. need a uh, corporate background. Yeah. You don't, it doesn't matter if you was locked up or not locked up. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you have kids or don't have kids. It doesn't yeah. matter if you married or not married. It doesn't matter any of that stuff. You guys can get started now. That's yeah. why I love it and I love teaching it because if I say, hey, yo, bro, um, Temple Hospital hiring for doctors, you should put an app in. Right. Um, you need like 12 a, years, and you get a degree <laughs> real quick. Facts, facts, yeah. Yo, listen, yo, yeah. this property is being sold, you should go get it. Mm. Okay, look, listen, I'll get a funding. Call my man, he gonna right. get you situated. Right. We can go put the offer in today. Yep. You won't have, you only, you close on a property 30 days from when you put the offer, mm. offer is accepted. Mm. You got 30, how fast can you get funded today? Mm. Well, I said mm, it today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you literally, but you got 30 days to come up with the money. Yeah. Right. And another thing is, if you don't mind, I'm going to put you on blast. You don't mind talking about it, bro. Like the funding play is like, if you don't have money right now, you don't have no job right now. Like you can literally get paid off of the game we gave you by just doing it for other people. Like yeah. you, you do so, the whole funding play. Yeah. So I, I started a funding company too. So <laughs> I don't think it's a more lucrative business out in the world. I don't know now. Uh, Y'all could probably rebuttal, mm -hmm. but. 
if I post on my social media, if you meet these requirements, right, and just one person need to meet them and I get somebody one approval, what I do is I charge eight to 10 percent of what I get them approved for. Mm. So let's just say we get you approved for 20,000. Mm-hmm. We get you approved for 30,000. I get I get 10 percent of that. So I might make two or three thousand dollars off leveraging your good credit mm. and being able to do the service for you mm. and then being able to get you money, you know, in the back end I get paid out as well mm. so now imagine how fast that could be that could be literally in one day that mm. i can make two or three thousand dollars that people work a whole week for mm. or a whole two weeks for mm. to be able to get and 40 hours a week wow and uh you know this, the, what i love about credit bro what i love about credit is this not only the fact that we can use other people's money and leverage other people's money to do things and invest into things like that but we make money when we spend money mm. Like, so the people out here that's spending cash, that's the first thing you need to do Yo, is stop. Stop, facts. <laughs> you need to stop because when you spend money, you don't make nothing in return off every dollar you spend. But when yeah. I spend money or when Yo. we spend money, we make money off every I'm dollar I'm going on we vacation spend. next <laughs> week off of points, B. Uh, points. So, uh, Everything is on my Amex. But when you start doing businesses and investing for real, for real, yeah. and uh, man, them things started. Uh, facts. Uh, and then, uh, so what you could do is, I think I got upwards like a one point. 1.2 million now in mm. rewards points. Mm. I'm literally going to show the back end of how I'm going to buy a whole vehicle off my rewards points. Mm. Meaning, I'm going to show the background of I'm going to go to a lot and get a ten dollars to $12,000 car mm. off accumulating my rewards points. So that's for free off the mm. back end just wow. because I changed my mindset of running my life through my credit cards to get right. something in return off every dollar I spend mm. instead of nothing. Right. So we got to stop that. And then imagine this. Imagine, this is how I like for people to think, right? Imagine me having $100,000 in my hand in my possession. And I said, all right, Ash, here you go. You can borrow it. Right. Right. You can borrow it. And then I told you, only give me back. The banks would probably ask for $1,000 a month. Mm-hmm. Would you take my $100,000? And I said, here, Cash, you can borrow it. And we give me $1,000 a month. Why not? And I'll take that $100,000 take the hundred thousand and I'm going to invest in real estate. Why not? Storage Absolutely. loans and Absolutely. things like that. And then make money and then, when exactly, I spend money. Because that, that 100000 you just gave me, mm-hmm. I got to pay you $1,000 a month. I could easily... Mm-hmm. Run the play, Mel just sold me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make way more than a thousand a month, mm-hmm. so my thousand is not even gonna come back from me. It's gonna like so now you give me a hundred thousand, I go get an SBA loan, I take that hundred thousand, and then now I go and I got I got a, I got a self storage unit, mm-hmm. Pro- probably two, you know all of those units. I'm probably making what? What's the average you would make off a self storage unit? Depend ten by ten is about hundred hundred bucks a unit. Right. If you're talking about 90 units, talking about 12 yeah, grand a month. month. So 12 yeah. grand a month, yeah. right? Yeah. That you just lent me 100K. I only owe you a thousand a month. I take that 100K and yeah. I run the play. Yeah. Now I make a 12K a month. Mm-hmm. I take that 1K, give it to you. Now I just made 11,000 for nothing. I want to. I want to break zero percent. I want to. Yo, pocket, but hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now, even even if he char- like think about this though. Even if that thousand dollars he charged me yeah. was. 30% interest. Mm. It don't even matter Still because no none of it is my money. Mm. At all. None of it is my money. I took mm. his money. I put it in, in a play that he that he just gave me. Mm. I'm making 12000 a month. I'm using that, that 12000 to pay off that 1000 that 30% that mm. everybody always, oh, the interest rate's too high. But now I'm making 11000 mm. off of nothing. Mm. Like, I, mm. none of my money. I want to ask you something. So I want you to run with you about this. I want to ask, can't they just take that same hundred thousand dollars though and put it in accounts and to get credit leverage just off of the money they have? Like Elaborate. other banks, they might not have a pool credit. They'll just give you credit based on what's sitting in your account. Yeah, uh, so it's, you, called, it's called a certificate of deposit. You can do that. <laughs> you can go put a certificate of deposit in a business bank account, maybe ten thousand, fifteen thousand, let it sit, and then you can ask the bank for a loan of that same amount. So then now this you're building, you're building the business credit. <laughs> the rabbit hole gets deeper. You give it out the game game. The rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper. I told you. Give it out the game game. No, the like business credit to get access wait, wait, to more Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. So you take that's, the hundred and keep it. Wait, hold on. Keep multiplying the money of somebody else's money. And then when you spend somebody's money. Hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me just. Zero percent. Yeah. My head hurt right now. Hold on. So you're telling me, right? So let's say, let's say I'm able to. Go to Key Bank. We mm-hmm. just use Key Bank mm-hmm. for right now. Key Bank, you need to sponsor this show. Uh, we go to Key Bank, and we we get a hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. I go to my bank. I say, you know what? I'm gonna take this hundred thousand. I'm gonna put it into a CD, certificate of deposit. Mm-hmm. I say, yo, here's a business certificate of deposit. Here's a hundred k. I got liquidated, and I say, bank, I need you to give me a loan based on this certificate of deposit. They say yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
now I still have my 100000 from Key Bank. Mm -hmm. Now, my bank, let's, let's say Bank of America, I don't know, mm -hmm. right? Let's say Bank of America, ha I, I now have $100,000 in assets in that bank. Mm -hmm. They give me a loan, and this, I'm just clarifying. Right, right, sir. They'll give me a loan based on that 100000 and now I can take that 100000 and buy an asset, mm -hmm. and now I just multiply my money. Not even my money. Not even your money, but it's, it's usually for like building purposes too. So like right. if we if we were to do that and put it in there and get a loan out of for it of a hundred thousand dollars now, yeah. now we can leverage that when we take the hundred thousand dollars from them, we'll be smart and let's just pay right back off. Right. So then now when we when we pay it back off, right, and we get a hundred thousand dollars back in our pocket, now we have showed the bank that we can pay off six figures from them. Mm. Now we got a hundred thousand dollars in our pocket, and then now we go ask for more money because they seen us be responsible mm. for the first hundred thousand dollars, and now we go get access to more money with this money in our pocket, with that bank going to get more money, mm. and then now we leverage all that, and then now we go do something mm. bigger. Mm. 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 Yeah. It gets deeper. It yeah, gets yeah, deeper. Yeah, yeah. It gets deeper. Yeah. Yeah. It gets the rabbit hole gets deeper. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, this is like. Yo, five day challenge, y'all. Look, fundingthevault.com. Spend five days with my brothers who are going to give you the game. Like, literally, my head hurts right now because I'm like, yo, which play am I going to run first? Because um, that's important. And I think that, you know, what's more important, what people need to understand is that this is how you build wealth, mm -hmm. right? Um, this is. Not like like if if you're still running the old play, which is I'm gonna work. However, though, whether you're entrepreneur, because I'm talking to my entrepreneurs as well. My entrepreneurs say, "Yo, I don't want to work for nobody." And now you create a, a you know you become an entrepreneur. You create a job for yourself, and now you work for yourself, but you're still working, yeah. right? And so my entrepreneurs out there, my nine to fivers out there. All of you who are still working for money, who have to actually physically grind in order to make money, that is old. Because at the end of the day, I'm telling you that like AI is going to shake up the job market, right? But guess what? Humans still need a place to live. Humans still need uh, you know, a place to put their stuff, mm -hmm. right? And so regardless of what AI is doing, regardless of what the U.S. dollars is doing, like you need some real assets. You need to be in self-storage. You need to be in multifamily. You need to be in residential. But you need to also stop making excuses and use other people's money, mm -hmm. right? Because you don't want to use your money, right? You, you Like you worked hard for the money. Now use that uh, you know, use the leverage that you can have and, and, and the game that is given to you now and in the five-day challenge to make sure that now you're building wealth. Because once you build that wealth, now you could borrow from what you just built, right? If I have a million-dollar asset now, I could borrow from that million-dollar asset and keep doing that over and over and over again and continue to build a conglomerate off of this one piece of asset, right? Boone just told you. Started with a two-family house and now has over $8 million worth of assets from a two-family home. The last I, I wanna I wanna break some down because this is crazy that what, what we're doing. But yeah, I wanna I wanna I wanna give them like a roadmap, yeah. right? Because I know this is a lot of information yeah, that you told. It's probably like damn, that. right? But when you see us up here, just know that we live in proof. Yeah. Right. And I, I wanna give them like a step by step roadmap of what they could do. So yeah. um every single year I have what I call a family legacy meeting. And this is what everybody watching right now, you could go and run this exact play. So with this family legacy meeting, everything that Smitty said about starting a funding company, but what if you just learn how to get funding? You may not even start the business, but mm -hmm. you learn these strategies that he's talking about. You now pull your cousin, your brother, your wife, your husband, your sister. You bring them all in one room. This is what I did. I brought everybody in my family in one room, mm -hmm. and I have a few requirements. When you pull up to the meeting, have your credit report open so we can see who has the best credit profile. Mm -hmm. We make sure that everybody get an LLC as well. Mm -hmm. So now we at the meeting. We having conversations around financial literacy. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, my cousin, he works 40, 50, 60 hours a week, correction officer. He don't really know nothing about credit and investing. Pulled up his credit report. He had an 800 credit score. Didn't even know it. Mm. He's just a responsible person, mm. right? Pay his bills on time. He works. I say, yo, cuz, what if I could get you some money, you know, would you be open to it? I put him on my business on an operating agreement, not even his own business. Put him on an operating agreement for my own business. Got him $45,000 in funding. 24 hours, mm. right? But I'm going to take it a step further. I say, yo, cuz, I want you to be a private investor in my next deal. And I had a single family, like, boom, right? Mm -hmm. So the $45,000, he invested into a single family deal that we had. Mm. 
use hard money. Mm. The down payment was only twelve grand. The mm. other thirty some thousand I used to float to the construction fees, mm. right? And got that money back. So another play, right? Mm. But bought the single family, fixed it up, sold it. Made $120,000 profit. It's all documented. You go look at my Instagram, mm -hmm. right? The $120,000 profit, I was able to pay my cousin back his $45,000, pay off his loans, and gave him 20% return on that. So mm -hmm. now he made 20% on other people's money that I got him to begin with. While still being a CEO. While being a CEO doing <laughs> yeah. this thing. So now I'm leveraging other people, and I didn't use any of my own money, wow, right? And wow. I made the profit. But now I take your hair. $80,000 out of that, I went and I put it into my life insurance policy, cash value life insurance policy. So because when we flip the money, we got to pay capital gains. Right. I don't want to pay capital gains right now. I got to keep it moving. Right. So instead, I'm going to secure it in a, in a cash value life insurance mm. policy, right? This happened a couple years ago. The money just grew. So mm. I keep having the money compound interest. Mm. I just picked up three self-storage facilities, right? Mm. $850,000 for three cell storage facilities. That mm. down payment is $95,000. Mm. The $80,000 that I put into the life insurance policy in 2019 mm. now is $116,000 in mm. cash value. Mm. Well, guess what? Now I borrow against that. That's my down payment on the three facilities mm. that I'm buying. And I leverage money that I used years ago mm. from other people in a group. And the money that I'm borrowing from the life insurance is still making money because... Mm. It's, it's secure. So now I'm making money multiple times, right? But I'm breaking that down. I know it sounds crazy, but that's literally how it goes if you run these same strategies. So I want everybody to have your first family legacy meeting before you pull up to the... Matter of fact, the Funding five... Funding the vault. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> the the, the five-day five challenge, that's the yeah, family five, legacy yeah. meeting. You get with us, com. and we're going we to run these plays, but that, like, that's want, what we do. I want to add something. Fundingthevault.com. Yo, it's like, it's a crazy. lot. But I want to add something else to it, though. You said you was talking mindset. You, you said something powerful. But I want people to think about, understand this. is The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over yep. and over again, ex right. expecting different, different results. results. That's the definition That's, of insanity. Yeah. So if you know that last year you made $30,000, 2022 you made $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, right? right? Working, you know, eight hours a day, you know, 40 hours a week. And... It's been a couple months into the year, and you're doing what? The same thing as last year. But mm. for some reason, you're like, yo, I'm going from 50 to 100. Right. Well, how, Sway? How, how is that possible? Yeah, you're yeah, still yeah. doing eight hours a day at the yeah. same $20 an hour, whatever that math is. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with the job, but what I'm saying is if you want change, you have to change. Facts. It's not just going to poof happen. Yeah. The extra 50 just not going to drop in your pocket without doing anything. And the only difference between someone maybe watching this in a position where they not be happy about and people like us, right? And I'm not saying we're any different from you. The only difference is the information. Yeah. So you literally, the only, I'm to be honest, the only difference from you and somewhere you want to be is only the information. Right. Every time you learn something new, you earn off of that. Mm. I call it mindset, learn to earn. You get your mindset right, then you learn information, then you go ahead and earn off the information mm. you learn from. But it all starts from getting your mind right, mm. and then you go ahead and learn. But if you're not learning anything new, how are you going to earn something Facts. new? Right. It's yeah. literally impossible. You yeah, can't right. earn something new if you don't learn nothing new. Mm. So, and it's, and it's just insane. And it's actually it's almost disrespectful, but we went, the, we we did five day challenges before and we saw we literally funded one point something million dollars in wow. one week off wow. of those five days. Literally, it's all documented. Wow. Off those five days. So many people bought property, some people invested with each other, yep. they went to close on deals, so many things off of those five days. But it's so is is it's basically disrespectful, but we don't care because that type of stuff helps us sleep at night. Absolutely. You get all that for two hundred ninety-seven dollars. Your entire life changes Change for forever. less than three hundred dollars. Yeah. Yo, a lot of y'all like going out. Casamigos is three hundred dollars at the <laughs> bar. I mean, at the club. Yeah. You he just said you paid three hundred dollars to go so out to eat with right. his family. <laughs> three hundred dollars. Some of y'all Jays y'all be buying after re three hundred dollars. Look, look. <laughs> just, just just in case my just in case my guy don't have it in the shop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These is more than that. Stock X three hundred dollars. You know I mean? A Mary three. Like all this stuff that you guys want just for a T-shirt. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that yeah. stuff. But if you want change, you got to start having to move a little bit different. And I'm be honest with you, three hundred gonna be spent regardless. Yeah, yeah. 100%. You might as well spend it to something that gets back. Yeah. You've been spending time after this. You've been spending time at the time at the time paying for stuff that doesn't bring you anything back. Like you literally have nothing to lose and everything to gain to finally invest into something that's actually going to give you back. You're literally depositing, depositing, depositing into 
stuff, stuff that's not giving you anything back, finally give yourself a chance. Like, let me go ahead and bet them. Let me just do something for me. Like, how would that feel? Let me do something for me. And then you get a 50 ball back. 50,000, that's what that means. Yeah. You get something back. Like, think about that. So yeah. that's just that's just my, I just thought about that while you was talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'll say from my own experience, uh, the last time I sat down with a coach for a week, mm -hmm. I believe that changed my life. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, I'm from Chicago too, right? So the environment is crazy that we don't get access to this type of information that yeah. that, that I'm around now. Uh, and I, I feel like it's messed up because the people that I was around when I back in the day, mm -hmm. uh, I know that they don't have that exposure. You know what I mean? So something like this is the best route, especially if you can do it from your home right. and look and listen from your home. It's the best route for you to get access to that information and get exposed to stuff you don't know. You can't do what you don't know, yeah. right? So I would not be in this position if I didn't sit down for a week with that coach yeah. and be able to, uh, I, I've leveraged my credit to start my semi-truck company. Mm -hmm. I leveraged my mm -hmm. credit to start my 10 Airbnbs in Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, I leveraged my credit to start my ATM business and things like like that I leverage my credit to build my whole legacy in my life to change my whole life and to be able to get out of that environment mm -hmm. and that rabbit hole in Chicago bro because that mm -hmm. stuff is detrimental to the mental of uh, your brain almost yeah, it's yeah, like no, you assuming on people dying my uh, a roommate of mine died got killed shot uh two two feet away from me in a uh, in a in a party you know after us you know, just partying with our friends right. we can't even party with our friends right. people that I'm living with is dying so right. if this Piece of these pieces of information changed my life yeah. specifically yeah. and got me out of something that could have been way worse for me. Wow. And I'm so grateful that man, this stuff is out here, and yeah. you got the opportunity to do so. So take advantage. Yeah. You know, so you sitting down and being to get exposed to this information could really change your life coming yeah. from experience. Yeah. Yeah. That, now that's that, that's 100 because I think I think that's the serious the seriousness of this um, is that. This information that you, the, the one thing about knowledge is that once you have the knowledge, you'll never lose it. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? And so, if, like, I don't, based on what y'all just watch here, I don't even, I can't fathom anybody thinking whether they should do it or not. Mm -hmm. Right? Because literally, if you don't got $300, we, we just gave you a funding plate. Right? You can literally, like, you can get $300. Right? Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is that this knowledge that you're going to learn is not just for you. It's for you. It's for your family. It's for your kids. It's for anybody who's ever made an excuse, right? This is, this is why I do this, right? I do this because I, I know what it lo looks like to live in abundance, right? Being, uh, you know, from Harlem, from the projects, single parent home, um, not eight years old having to pack bags because I don't know where food go come from mm -hmm. to now, like, I don't have to think about money. Money just comes abundantly for me. And I know this is the life that I live. And I know that if you're listening to my voice, that you can do the same. Mm -hmm. I'm not special. Like, I'm just like you. And so that's why every day I want to bring in the experts, the people who know Here's the specific place that you can run. I want to bring that to you. So I'm telling you, funinthevault.com, tap in with the bros. You will not be disappointed. Matter of fact, look, I'll say this. If you join their challenge and you spend the five days there and you like, yo, Ash, it was a waste of time, hit me up and I will give you your money back. Mm -hmm. Info at InsideTheVaultShow.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's solid. If oh, you spend yeah. five days, you got you to gotta show me that you spend five days with them, mm -hmm. right? So like every day, just take a screenshot and was like, yo, day one I was here and then change your shirt or something, day two, <laughs> whatever, right? Prove to me that you spent five days and if you didn't learn anything, then email us info at InsideTheVaultShow.com mm. and we, I personally will give you back your money. Mm. Last words for the people, man. I'll leave them with this. Yeah. So. For the people that think it's hard and it's like too much and all this stuff, investing is hard, mm. building businesses and building credit and stuff is hard, but also staying broke is hard. Mm. Yeah. That's harder to me. Uh, uh, staying in the same position is hard. Living mm. paycheck to paycheck is hard too. So I want the people to understand, choose your heart. Would you Facts. choose your heart to progress in life or would you choose your heart to stay in the same position? Facts, mm. facts, facts. I want people to really think about one word, the word freedom. Mm. Like really, that's what really doing this for. It's not about mm. the money, it's not about the car, it's not, it's really for the freedom. Like for example, for me, I drop my son off at school every morning, I pick him up from school every single day. Facts. Every single day, facts. don't miss a day. Yeah. So for me, if I could not be able to do that, that would literally like 
kill me. Yeah. Like, literally, even coming down here to do this, like, dang, I can't pick them up to school today. Like, that's kind of bothering me, mm -hmm. but we understand mm -hmm. we doing what we have to do yeah. so we can go ahead and just, you know, build our business even more. But I'm back there tomorrow. Right. Right, right. there. Pick them up. Drop them off. Yep. And that's what it's really about. So, we got to understand, like, why are we actually doing this? Like, what exactly are we doing this for? And for me, it's freedom. Yeah. And I want other people to understand, like, freedom is really, really what it comes down to. Yeah. And the way you can really build our freedom is by figuring out ways to make more money per hour or substitute your hours with more income. So now, okay, I'm only working two, three hours a day. I got the rest of my day to myself. Mm -hmm. And ways you can do that is by leveraging credit to start business. He just said he's going to go ahead and buy a car off of reward points. Mm, that's crazy. crazy. Off of reward, crazy. reward points. Yeah. So you're worried you about, not you, but you said earlier you're worried about the dollar losing value. Right. Well, the dollar doesn't matter because we use points instead of the right. dollar. Right, not using the dollar. And then we <laughs> use the points to buy the car. Right. And then now, I used to do Toro. I had stopped doing Toro. Not nothing anything bad I just doubled down in real estate yeah. I had three cars in Toro one of the cars I had a Dodge Charger um, scat pack it was doing $2,500 a month profit mm. the average American already says this is facts mm. that a thousand dollars a month extra would change their life facts yeah. An extra thousand dollars yeah. a month, you can make twenty five hundred dollars a month yeah. off of reward points yeah that will literally buy down your freedom so now look all right it made me take one day off a week because I already made that money back. Mm. Or let me get two of these cars. Let me just quit my old job altogether. And I'm not saying quit your job, but now you have options. Mm. The biggest thing we want to have in life is options. I feel, do I feel like going to work today? Mm. Do I feel like doing this? Do yeah. I feel like doing that? Freed. And I'm going to be honest with you, all three of us, all four of us, we're in a position like, do I feel like Facts, doing this or not? Do I feel like doing that? Do I really feel like? And if, the, if I ever got to the point where I have to go back to where I can't, have that conversation with myself in the morning. Yeah. I, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably break down. Like yeah, I'm, I'm so used to. I'm not going back. I'm not back. Do I feel feel like in here? Do I feel like doing that? And then one last thing. You said something powerful. You said you seen your friend get killed right in front of you. Yeah. You know, and and sorry for your loss. But also on top of that, now I'm not saying you don't have to 100 percent worry about those situations. But your environment changed to where yeah. now you and other places where those things don't happen as much. Yeah. Probably ninety nine percent will never happen. Yeah. So because you put yourself in a different tax bracket, because you put yourself in a different environment, now you can go to parties on a rooftop now. Go yeah. go to restaurants a little bit different. Yeah. So we gotta understand that you know change your mindset, learning, and start making more money. Not only just allows you more freedom, but it allows you more safety. Mm. Right. Mm. Like yeah. now I can go ahead and party at different environments where that shit doesn't happen. Don't happen. Where exactly. now I, it's security at the door with all these different things. And yeah. so now like it's not even just about you being able to ball out. It's you like, all right, I'm a little safer now. Exactly. Like, I can be, I'm in a different room now. I, I get, have to worry about it. home to my kids. Yeah, 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 yeah man. That's we, the most we, important part. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We all want to go out. We all want to have fun. But now yeah. we get to the point where like, do I want to go to the place where it's five dollars a door, or do I want to go to the place where the drink may be fifty dollars? But now I know I'm network with other individuals. Exactly. It's a little bit Meet more safer. Meet me at the table, it's the one little... that starts to G up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Exactly. Ooh. So yeah. that's all I wanted to say. Like, yeah. don't just look at it. I'm just making money, but it gives you freedom yeah. and it gives you more safety. And this Dude. time we in right now, I'm from Philly. Yep. Safety yeah. is is it's important. Absolutely. So that's all I really wanted to say. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, y'all crushed it, man. I want to shout all y'all out, man. I yeah. appreciate y'all. I appreciate you for yes, even sir. putting this together. That's so important. But the word I want to leave with everybody here is just ownership. Mm. And um, ownership of your time, ownership yeah, of man. your life, like being the CEO of your life. Yeah. You know, my, my uncle, very close to me, he passed away last year. Mm. But he worked 27 years. And he always told me while he was working, he wanted to start a business and buy real estate. He retired. And then he started to do the business and passed away a year later. Wow, wow, so when wow, I think wow. about that, it's like, damn, like we have the audacity to think that we got time on our Ooh. side. Like we, we don't know, yeah. right? So that's why I move with that sense of urgency. So everybody that's watching this, if you want to be the CEO of your life, yeah. right, you want to control your time, you need to move with a sense of urgency. Yeah. And the information is here. This yeah. is the most accessible time where we Facts. can press a click of a button Facts. and get this type of information, Facts. right? This is like, yeah. listen, that's it. That's all yeah. I got to say, man. Man, look, funinthevault.com, yeah. Smitty. Yeah. If they want to find you online, where can they find you? Underscore Smitty, the goat underscore. That's, That's it, my man. Instagram. D-S-B-O-O-N-E. Mogul Lifestyle underscore. All right, y'all. We are closing out the vault. Another powerful episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Make sure, again, you follow all three of the brothers. Go to funinthevault.com. Join 
the five day challenge. You have oper different levels that you can join, uh, but just make sure you're in the building. Uh, make sure you follow us uh, inside at Inside the Vault on all social media platforms. Uh, go to our website, InsideTheVaultShow.com. Me, I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, I am Ash Cash. Dot com. Follow me on all social media platforms at I am Ash Cash. Make sure you also join the Abundance Community. Go to abundancecommunity.org. We got behind the scenes, like some more gems uh, of all of our past guests, but, but my brothers are going to give us some gems as well. So abundancecommunity.org. Yo, we're going to see you in God's will. Same time, same place. Peace. Let's get it.